Hello again, welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to my time at Portia. So we're picking back up where we left off. Um, of course, we have this meeting at Peach Plaza at 7 p.m. today, so we do need to keep that in mind. I would like to stop by there and check that out. Um, let's see, Commerce Commission, we're still working on the sprinklers. We need one more valve um, to be able to craft those. So we're going to see about getting that stuff together today. I'd like to go by and... Um, tackle that dungeon, if at all possible. Also, the street lights, we've got those done. And we have this thing. Let me actually go put this in the house before I forget about it. And we'll just set this, like, right there uh, for right now. So that's going to give us an extra 20 health, uh, which will def definitely come in handy. And let's go ahead and drop off. Let's see, our copper is done-ish. How's this stuff coming along? I do need to pick up more fertilizer today and didn't we craft the planter boxes already yes we got those let's go drop those off and let me dump out my inventory just really really quickly because i want to go to the dungeon okay the inventory is all cleaned up now it looks like emily is just right over here so i'm gonna go catch her yeah there she is she's headed to town here's her planter boxes thank you i can't wait to try these out and we got some goals for that. And then I'm assuming that Sophie's Ranch should be open by now, I would imagine. So I want to pick up some fertilizer for the plants because we are going to need to apply that, I think. Because those plants are starting to, uh, I don't know, get unhappy. So let's go ahead and get like a good, um, let's get like 10 fertilizer so that we've got it for later. And then we'll head back to our farm real quick. We'll apply the fertilizer. And I'm not too worried about the commissions today because it's going to be a little while before I can go get those because i got to finish the sprinkler one. And then we need to go put the uh, street lights in. We need to install those as well. Which I don't think there's any more street light. I think that's the last of the street light quests. I'm just going to apply like one batch of fertilizer to all of these because that should be plenty. And we need to try to get a DD stop for the dungeon. Um, it was brought up in the comments that whenever you break those crates, like, that's how you get the time. But during that boss fight, if we had broken the crates, we would have got more time that way. So, but hopefully now, I mean, we've made some upgrades to our character since the last time that we went through. I don't think we had the, um, I don't think we had the iron sword when we first went through either. So, I mean, that's going to make a big difference. And let me pop in here, since we're right over here anyways, let me pop in here. Oh, and I wanted to look at the ING construction. Well, we'll look at it when we come back through. I've got the hardwood on me. Our research is almost done. Oh, okay. She's still research. I, th I was thinking that I hadn't gotten anything from the last data disk that I'd put in, but I wasn't for sure. All right, let's head for the dungeon then. But there is that, uh, that one spot right over next to the dungeon where we could put a DD stop in. I would like to get that put in before too long, hopefully. I mean, it's not really a commission thing. It's not going to help me. Well, I don't I don't guess that we're going to get any kind of reward for it. Um, it does show up as like a quest objective, though. Like on the map for placing the DD stop. So I don't know. I don't know for sure. But if we can get that last valve that we need and get back over to the farm, craft those sprinklers up. Honestly, we'll probably take first place today because then we also have the Let There Be Light to turn in. So, alright, let's head to the third floor. And I wonder, this this is a good opportunity for us to see if the chests respawn. I doubt that they do, but we're about to find out. Alright, we got a minute. Oh, that's fine. I will say we do a lot more damage now. Yeah, see, it looks like there was crates on this floor, I'm fairly certain. So, I think that they just, they don't respawn when you come back through, which means the chests probably don't respawn as well. Which, honestly, is kind of what I was anticipating, because otherwise you could just farm, you know, all of the stuff that you need, all the valves and stuff from, like, the lower dungeon floors, and there's not really as much reason, I guess, to go through... Like all the new floors. No, I did not 
notice these guys coming out here. Oh my gosh, they just keep dropping them at me. There we go. Uh, is that, there's still more? Really? But yeah, it does look like you get time back when you kill mobs too, so. At least there's that. Nope. Stop it. <laughs> okay. Chances remaining one, but that's fine because that means my health's going to be back up before we go down to the next floor. So. Oh, there is chest. The chests do respawn. Huh. That's interesting. The crates might respawn too because I think I broke all the crates before. What do we get? Come on, Valve. No copper coil. Nope. Oh, man. These guys, I think, are probably the toughest. That looks like a silicon chip. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, we leveled up. Haha. -ha. And what do we got in this one? I think this one was a valve before. Oh, no, it's an industrial engine. Okay. So I guess you could probably keep doing like the floors and stuff that you've cleared and getting stuff out of them. Because that's how many chests were on that floor before. So I don't know for sure about the crates. I feel like there was other crates, but there may not have been. Actually, it seems like the floors are randomized now that I think about it, because there was that part at the start of that last floor where we ran over and there was like a room, you know, off to the side there. So it does seem like the floors are a little bit randomized. Which that's kind of nifty. I like that actually. I mean, this is the first time that we've had to redo any section, so. Yeah. I'm taking a little bit of a beating, but that's okay. Yeah, see, it's like this, where there's like a left turn that you can go through. I actually quite like these, like, timed floors. Normally, I'm not a big fan of time trial stuff. But, I don't know, I like them, I like them in this quite a bit. Nope. I rely too much on the stagger. It's my problem. The only thing I didn't care for, as far as the time trials go, is the fact that the time didn't reset when we died on the boss. Oh, I knew. I had one health left. I knew I was, like, cutting it close. I was like, man, maybe I can kill these guys and then, like, get to the next floor. But, honestly, it's probably for the best that I died right there, because the next floor is a boss floor. What am I missing? I guess it's got to be on that little, like, split path. Oh, actually, there's like little orange markings on the map. Is that enemies? Did I miss something entirely? Now yeah, there's a there's a room right here. I totally oh, there's treasure all up in there. Oh, man, stop hitting me! All right, what do we got? Copper coil, another industrial engine. That's kind of nice. And then another silicon chip. So still no valves, though. Hopefully the boss drops one or two or five or six. <laughs> I would like six. Maybe he'll just drop six because that way if the sprinkler quest comes up again, which chances are it will. All right, boss time. Let's do this. And I guess I should just like run around and break these crates. So we can build up all this free time and then we'll get on the boss. Alright, you do your thing. I'll try to do this where I stay up on him. I 
And then I'm going to back off and let my stamina kind of rage in a little bit. Because he's about to enter the next phase. Oh, we are... Ah, oh, I missed that dodge roll. Man. No, you don't. Ha <laughs> ha. We win. All right, we got a bunch of stuff. I see two valves from that. Awesome. And that means we've cleared that floor, and I think the next floor is the last one, right? Yeah. We're on the final floor of the ruins. <laughs> oh, and we've got plenty of valves to finish out that quest, which is awesome. So let's exit the ruins. And we're going to make a run for the DD stop. And then we're going to teleport to the workshop. Let's see. We've got like a couple hours before the fireside chat thing. So we should have time, I think, to get the quest done craft the sprinklers and then maybe go turn it all in and that should put us actually in first place we got an hour and a half come on okay do I have everything on me for the sprinkler I need two more copper pipes and I don't have any of those awesome that's good because I didn't want to have everything that I needed for that of course not. There we go. We'll go ahead and get that crafting anyways. And then we'll go in and turn the let there be light in real quick. I guess we won't get the, the commission turned in today, but that's fine. Oh, there he, he just left. No, you. You evil beast. Okay, yeah, we're gonna that's that's gonna surpass Higgins. That's like 250 points. Two fans. I hate that commission. Fiber cloth. Five sprinklers again. That's up. 15 leather. But the thing is, we're like out of valves right now, so I don't know if it's intelligent to take the sprinkler quest again. I'm going to say I don't think so. Oh, but we can talk to Antoine nice right work. here. This is your payment. Oops. We got 50 rep points. And I'm assuming that A&G construction is closed. Yeah. So we're just going to wait here for a second for him to start the fireside chat real quick. Good evening, everyone. I'm pleased to announce that we found the culprits for the stolen items. It appears to be a band of bandy rats hanging around town. Fortunately, they've been dealt with by the new builder in the Civil Corps, so I'd say this current ordeal is at an end. We have some of the recovered items in my office, Come and see if your item is among them. That's it. Okay. Well, I tell you what, I've got... Oh, McDonald wasn't here, though. Man. I'm surprised that's all that they had for the fireside chat. It was just like, oh. The culprits have been found. Okay, well, the copper pipes are done. Then we can go ahead and craft our sprinklers. There we go. And where do we turn this in at? Commerce Commission is the Commerce Guild. I wonder if I can catch Antoine right now and, like, sneak inside the Commerce Guild. <laughs> and, like, turn that in, get our points, and... Yeah, there he is right there. Hey. That was fast. Such an efficient builder. There we go. Now we're getting into some good some good points. Okay, I can't go in there and get another commission for today. That's too bad. But we can go craft Django's sword, I think. I think I've got the bronze made up now. And really, I need to go put all this stuff up from our last little excursion. We've got six industrial engines right now. I feel like it's probably a good thing that we're building those up, like, right now. Because I know we're going to end up needing them at some point. That chest is filling up. I need to start looking at upgrading maybe to metal storage here soon. Yeah, I'm going to have to revisit storage here pretty quick. That's fine. 
That's fine. Okay, so the bronze sword, right? We're gonna need a practice sword and an upgrade kit. That's right, I forgot to pick up one of those. Well, I've got the practice sword. And then I should have to pick up an upgrade kit in the morning. Um, I've got a little bit of stamina. I'm gonna go cut a little bit of wood real quick. And then in the morning, we'll go upgrade our work table. We'll, talk, we'll uh, grab a new commission. Upgrade our work table. Get an upgrade kit to do that quest for Django. And then see where the day takes us, I guess. Oh, and I leveled up too, right? Let me go ahead and pop that point before I forget. We have one skill point. Let's go ahead and take... I don't know if I'm going to keep bumping damage. I'm going to put another point into damage. And then we'll probably put, put a point into defense maybe after that. Okay, those bars for today are rough looking. <laughs> like my health and stuff. Uh, no, I don't mean to do that. Uh, 15, 15, 15. Okay, so that stuff's going to be done here soon. And I'm probably not going to plant anything after that. Okay, now let's take a look at the... We need the water engine, water storage, water wheel stuff. They just want a water wheel and a water engine. They don't have a water storage on the list, so... Let's see, water wheel is... That's a lot of hardwood. Carbon steel. Yeah, let's queue that one up first. They want 12 large iron buckets, which I know we can knock that out, I think. Oh, nope. We have two. And you know, I actually don't have a recipe for a large iron bucket, so I'm thinking... Oh, wait. Here it is. Never mind. Scratch that. That's still expensive, though. <laughs> that is very, very expensive. I'm going to go ahead and queue up, like... Make me 10 copper pipes. I'm going to need them. And then, do we have any iron that we could start, uh, yeah, we do. I need to start making charcoal, too. So let's go ahead and queue up, like, ten iron, get that burning up. And then I'm gonna need charcoal to make all that carbon steel. So there's 30 charcoal going, and then let's go ahead and queue up more, uh, copper. Okay, and it's getting late. I'm gonna go ahead and go to sleep, and then, like I said, tomorrow we'll do Django's sword, and we'll do... We'll turn in our sprink or get a new commission. That's what we need to do. And I think, yeah, it's really just those two things we have at the moment. And then right now we have 12,000. We'll upgrade our work table as well because we do need to do that also. So, all right, let's go to sleep. Okay, you know what I just realized? It's now month two. So, I don't know. I don't think I got first place, did I? Well, you know what? I might have. I might have gotten first place, I think, because I turned in everything that I was set out to, to to turn in. So I should have been like 30 points or something ahead of, um, what's this? <laughs> Hi. Sorry to bother you. My chicken Sam Mao ran off again. I chased it all the way here. Uh, hold on. Need to catch my breath. I wonder if that's the chicken cage right How there. How did it get out? I like taking the chicks out for a walk every Saturday, just in case they get sick of being stuck in the poop. Then this one just ran off at the first opportunity. Sam Mao gives me the most trouble, always trying to outrun me or outhide me. Uh, you take a breather, I'll help you, or take your time, I have something else to do, though. So see ya. Yeah? Really appreciate it. I'll help her. Whew, he's a surprisingly nimble chick. You'll need to sneak up from behind to catch him. Alright. Mission start. Catch Sen my Sen Mao and put it in the cage. Okay. And then we've also got research results. We've completed the research into the diagram. Here's the result. It's a cooking set. Aha, uh -huh. and there's the workshop rankings. Hi, congratulations on obtaining the number one position in the workshop rankings last month. You're a model workshop and an inspiration for the rest of us. We're very glad to see such a wonderful workshop here in Porsche. We hope you continue to show such, show such quality. Here's your reward for the number one rank. Kamar Skilled. And we got 20 Power Stones, 20 Data Discs, and a small engine. That is awesome. Totally worth it. Alright. Is this Sam They're just, like, walking right there? Wow, you really are good at this. 
in such a short time as well. Yeah, he was like standing next to my feet. The rest of the chick troops scattered all around the road when I ran after San Mao. Can you help me capture them as well? Uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> um, oh, that's Pinky. Her. Pinky the cat. So where, whereabouts are they? Put the chicks in the cage. Oh, they're right there. Uh-huh. Okay, I guess I gotta do these one at a time, I imagine. But these don't really seem to run off. Like, I just run up to them and, like, grab them. Okay, Thank Emily. Thank you so much. I couldn't have gotten through today without your help. Yes. Here, some eggs I just picked up. You can have them. It's the least I can do. I'll see you later. Come on, you rascals. Let's go home. All right, we got five eggs and we got ten relationship with Emily. All right. Hey. Let's chat. Hi, you're here as well. What a coincidence. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, in, it is, in fact, just one big goinky dink. Okay, well, since the year just started, let's get into town. I want to go pick up our commission. I meant to get there sooner. It's already 9 o'clock, so that means... Um, oh, what's his name? Has probably already came and gone and got his commission. So, that's fine. What do we got here? Uh, four glasses. And then we have five copper pipes. That's 29 rep. That's 30 rep. Five crystal necklaces for 88 rep. Now, I'll tell you what. I'm going to take the four glasses. Probably have that lying around. That seems like a, a suitable thing for us. And we are currently in first place. Like, it looks like we get to keep our points from the previous, the previous month. In this month, we get two small engines, 20 data disks, and a wind wheel. Which sounds awesome. Okay, well, we don't have a huge lead over Higgins. So we're going to have to stay on stay on that though. And then in addition, I want to run by and get an upgrade kit to make that sword for Django. So that's definitely something that we need to do. Let's go ahead and grab one of those. What does this store have? Carol's store. Like I'm currently wearing work clothes that are defensive 10, stamina plus 10. Then she's got casual clothes. Uniform. Those things are a little bit expensive, though. I can't buy them right now because it would... It would... I mean, I couldn't get the work table upgrade. Or workshop. I can't remember which one we're getting next, so... I guess we'll find out in a moment. Alright, now I want to go ahead and get some more research Hi. over here. Did you discover something new? Yes, let's give her 20 data disks. The data corruption on these disks... Okay, because I'm curious to see what we get out of that. Because right now, I mean, we've still got 14 data disks. And then I also want to run by ANG Construction. Let's see, the work table is 10,000. Oh, we need 30 old parts, too. The home is also 10,000, but we need 20 bronze for that. I don't know if I want to do the home or the work table. Both of those sound like great ideas. But there's some nice tool upgrades. If we go for the level 3. Um, let me pop back to the house and let me grab the old parts that we've got lying around. Because I think I want to go for the work table. I think that's a little bit more of a priority. And let's also go ahead and craft up that bronze sword for Django. Yes. And old parts. Yeah, I got 36. Sounds good. And then I guess maybe next time we'll upgrade the workshop. Because I would definitely like to do that. I need to get into, like, really decorating the interior and stuff. Um, I don't know. I just haven't had the time. <laughs> I just haven't had the time for it. I've just been working constantly. Alright, let's go ahead and upgrade. Dun -dun -dun. And I guess we are going to leave it in the same spot. There we go. Leveled up. What does it take to level it up for the next time, though? There's no way. It can't be. Oh, that's just a move option. There's not an upgrade option. 
So I wonder if we just have to get farther, like, in progression-y stuff? Alright, what about Django? Let's go find Django. Ah, there he is. Now this takes me back to my younger days, when I was receiving my first sword. Great work. Very balanced. Thanks. I am a master swordsmith. What can I say? Just kind of comes with the territory. Okay, it looks like the stuff that we have growing over here, it may be done. Let's check it. Uh, no, we still got 11 hours left. Okay, now the glass. I've got two pieces of glass, but I still need more glass. So let me get, uh, let's refuel that. Then we'll take a look at those new recipes. Okay, glass is now going. And I figure that's something that would come in handy uh, to go ahead and get that made. I don't really feel like there's anything that, like, I shouldn't make. Um, let's see. Fisherman's Axe requires manganese steel bars, three upgrade kits, and an iron axe. I almost forgot that we can make iron axe. Or were we ab even able to make an iron axe before? I don't think so. But that's two upgrade kits, but we could totally craft that out right now. There's also probably, yes, an iron pickaxe. And a fisherman's pickaxe. Still no armor for us to make. And then... Let's see, we could craft those, though. Uh, dark coffee table, wooden storage. I mean, I don't see a whole lot of, like, new stuff, necessarily. But the thing is, like, a lot of these recipes we just, like, pick up, though. Um, the main thing is we're able to make a new axe, which I wouldn't mind terribly making that. Let's go into town. Let's get a couple uh, upgrade kits real quick, because I think I've got plenty of money. Yeah. I kind of wish they would, like, first place they would have given you, like, a cash amount, too. Like, you know, here's so many golds. But the power stones, the data disk, the small engine, those things are still nice, so... I guess I shouldn't complain. Alright, give me two of those. And then I guess, honestly, I think I'm gonna make the axe first. I think that'll be a little bit more important because the damage increase on that is kind of nice. There we go. Let's go try this this thing out. Ooh. And it also means we could probably cut down larger trees now. Oh, look at that. That is a lot more damage on that axe. Like, we're going to be, like, destroying forests. I wonder if this giant tree over here, if we can take this thing down now that we got this iron axe. Yes, we can. Ha-ha. <laughs> we can cut this big monstrosity down. There we go. I'll tell you what, this thing just, like, shreds wood. Like, it's nothing. Alright, the glass is still cooking up. I should be about to finish the first ones, though. Let me go ahead and grab this glass out of here. Okay, the first bits of glass are done. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that so I can go turn in this commission real quick. It's kind of interesting that they let you keep the points uh, for the monthly things. Oh. I guess you don't want this one. Oh, it has to go to the ANG construction. Okay. And we need, to, we need to really get kicking on the uh, water wheel stuff. Thank you. I'll put it to good use. There we go. There's 30 red points for that. Okay, and what all do we need? Carbon steel bars. 15 of those. 50 hardwood. 10 old parts. Well, I'll tell you what. The old parts... Oh, I don't have 10 old parts. I'm going to have to go get more old parts. And I actually don't have the hardwood either. Let's take a look at... Let's get rid of that. There's the cooking station. It requires an iron pan, stone bricks, marble planks. Uh, it's not that bad. Really. That could, that could be easily knocked out. I'll tell you what though. I don't really have... Much of any of this stuff. We need a lot of iron for that water wheel stuff. So let's go ahead and actually make ourselves some more uh, civil furnaces. Because I feel like that's going to be kind of important. And we really need to get those crafted up. And how many bronze plates? We need five. Oof. That's going to be the worst part. Is all the bronze plates that we need. 
Yeah, I've got enough to make two right now. Okay, I'm actually going to head up here and look for marble. Because we definitely need more of that. Okay, I've just been out here, like, mining and lumbering. <laughs> you can see, like, all the trees are gone through here. All the big rocks are gone. But we've got 47 marble now. Uh, 326 wood. We got 77 hardwood. Um, also got this. Guess I can open that up. Um, yeah, I'd say we're in a pretty good position now. A decently good position. I think I've got more tin back at the house. I need to queue up a bunch of bronze. Because I ba basically that's going to be the main thing holding me back from um, additional furnaces is just a lack of bronze. Not to mention I do need to get uh, right over here actually. Let me go ahead and marble planks, craft me 10 of those. Because we are going to need those. Um, over here, let's go ahead and get ourselves some iron being made. I'm about to start doing carbon steel too, but we'll get to that in a minute. And there's some bronze plates that are done. I don't think I have any other bronze plates too, I know. Cool. Then we can get another commission and we might actually go to the dungeon tomorrow. Um, and try that last floor, maybe. Let's see if our bronze is done. A little bit of it is. Not a whole lot. Our glass is done, though. I'm going to go ahead and probably queue up more bronze. Because we need, like, as much of that as we can get, it seems like. Go ahead and get a bronze plate going. And bronze bars give me... We'll get five of them going in each of these. Okay. And then... Let's see. The stone stools. We've got those. We've got the marble plates, right? Yeah. Go ahead and grab those. There's that. There's that. So really we're just waiting on the bronze at this point. Okay, well let's go get a commission. Um, oh, mail. Uh, from the research center, we found something useful in the data disk you brought in yesterday. There's a lot of information for us to go through. We'll mail you the results within seven days. Wow. Seven days. I kind of wonder if the 20 data disks, if we don't get more than like one recipe or something from that maybe. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Okay. To the Commerce Guild. And Higgins is here. What do you know? What have we got, Higgins? Uh, two bat masks. We get 71 points for that. Five crystal necklaces. Three fur scarves. Oh, they're all pretty good. Um, I'm thinking to go with the... Uh... <laughs> I don't know. I do not know. Um... Let's go with this one. The far scarves. Let's do that. Because I've got a lot of fire, I can easily go get more fire. I wouldn't mind going up and exploring that one area outside of the, uh, the dungeon. You know, because we haven't actually explored that exterior location at all. <laughs> so I would like to check that out. But let's take a look at the recipe for the fur scarves. I seem to remember seeing them... Yeah, right here. Furry scarves. We need... Thread from the basic skiver and delicate fur. Two each. Okay. And how do we make thread? Fur and tree sap. We've got the tree sap, we just need the fur. Okay, I have a feeling this one's gonna be pretty easy. Uh oh, well. Except I only have one delicate fur, but I think that comes from the mobs, though, like, outside that dungeon. So it'd be a perfect time to go explore that place. So let's do it. Let's go ahead and queue up. Let's get 10 thread. We'll eventually need it anyways. Okay, let's do this. And I guess there's no other bronze done, is there? Oh, this one's done. This one's done. Can I queue up another bronze plate by chance? No. We'll check this area out and gather up delicate fur while we're at it. I wonder if these birds happen to have delicate fur. Oh! Meat and eyeglasses. Okay, these guys drop delicate fur. The Slurpees. And they really don't do a whole lot of damage either.
Alright, so what all's back here? Really don't look like nothing, just a lot of debris. Um... There's a chest right over here. Uh, we got a strange mirror. What is this? Uh, max health plus 20. Says it looks like a normal mirror, but sometimes the reflection doesn't look exactly right. <laughs> Watch it be like haunted or something. Wouldn't that be cool? Or something crazy like that. Okay, let's um... Go over here. I'm actually kind of wondering what this is over here. Like if there's anything to do or I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have jumped down here because <laughs> it looks like we're just running around a lake at this point. I know there's treasure up on side of that, up on top of that pipe, which we'll get around to that in just a minute, but. Okay, we can get up over here. Slurpee! And another Slurpee. A lot of blue leather. Which we I don't think we've had a use for blue leather as of yet. For sure we will. Okay, I still need two more delicate leather before we can craft that stuff. Because I would like to get back to the uh, workshop in a timely manner, so we can go ahead and craft that, go turn it in, and get ready, you know, for tomorrow sort of thing. Hey, what's this? Bamboo papaya. Alright. And I'm assuming this is for crafting. Local delicacy. Looks like a bamboo sprout. Tastes like one as well. From planting. Okay. Hey! Slurpees! Yes, delicate fur. Hey, I see uh, what looks like crystal, I think. Is that crystal? I think it's crystal. Hey! This stuff takes forever to break, though. I can't wait till we get the iron pick and then the fisherman stuff. But I think we need a new furnace to do that because I can't make any kind of manganese uh, alloy. At present, anyways. I've got the ore, but I just can't make it. This place is pretty big. Like, there's the ruin. And it, like, keeps going off in this direction. I don't even know if we'll get it all explored today. I mean, I've spent, like, the whole day out here. It's fairly large. I mean, there's not a whole lot to find, but there is, like, little odds and ends. Okay, let's go try to get that treasure up on top of that pipe, because I've been war I've been wondering about that for a while. And hopefully once we get back, our thread will be done. Or at least enough so that we can do our commission. Alright, let's do this. This is Daredevil Extreme here. Uh, the inventory is full. The item was left on the ground. Oh, okay. Well, let me throw something down here. Uh, stone, you know what? Abandon that. Okay, we got a crystal necklace. That's what it was. And actually, I think we could probably equip that. I'm sure. Let's see. Crystal necklace. Gives plus eight attack. So we'll go ahead and throw that on. So we got two of those. Yeah, they do stack. So if you're wearing two of the same thing, it does give you extra attack. So. Okay, our thread. We have five done. I don't know if that's enough. We need, what, three of these things? No. It's four thread per scar. So we're not going to be able to finish it till in the morning. In fact. Okay. Well, let me go ahead and craft up. Maybe five more of those. And I think we're almost out of ten, aren't we? Yeah, I can only craft four bronze. I don't know if I've got more over here. Yes. Haha. <laughs> okay. I need to dump my inventory, though. <laughs> like, here in just a moment. Because it's pretty bad. Yeah, go ahead and keep making iron for right now. Oh, and that stuff's done. Okay, I'm going to keep pumping out bronze, I think. Because that's something... I mean, I need more of those furnaces. And I'm going to need a ton of bronze for them. 
uh, to make a bunch more of those, so. Okay, that's crafting up, and our marble planks are done, we got some iron, and actually we'll have another one of those furnaces here fairly soon. Um, also this stuff is done, we got wheat, wheat, and pumpkins. Okay. I don't know if I should sell these. I mean, wheat's only sells for one gold. Pumpkin is six gold. I just don't feel like it's even worth it. Like, unless you're just, like, super mass farming, I think the commissions are better money. I think farming will be better for, like, making stuff for ourselves, so. Alright, and let's go ahead and put out our mirror. We'll just put that right there. I wonder if, like, something's gonna come out of that. Because <laughs> the description made it sound all spooky. See, I still wonder what some of the stuff on the map is. Like, WoW Industries? We've never been there. We can't get to the desert as of yet. And then... Like, I know there's other places. I'm gonna go over here to Porsche Harbor and run up this road. Just because I'm kind of curious. Um, as to where this goes. Hey, what's this? Uh, shell and sand. Alright. Airport lounges? What's this? Maybe we could take a boat somewhere. Yeah, here's the road that we're on. And the pug is snoring, so if you hear that sound in the background, that's what that is. Hey, what are these things? Illusion bunnies? Kill them. They drop delicate fur, too. This might be... Plus they drop a little bit of money. And she's like really snoring right now. She's like totally out of it. I've come to find that that's what pugs do is they snore and they love food. Is this actually like, are we going anywhere? There's a, is that the bus that's just sitting here? And the road just kind of ends, like right here. Hey. <laughs> what are you doing over here? Alright. I'm going to start heading back home because it oh my gosh it's one o'clock <laughs> i think i overexerted my i'm about to overexert myself here because i gotta get uh well uh, i don't know i need to go all the way over to here so i can catch a ride on the uh the thing catch a ride okay right over there i'm just kind of exploring a little bit today <laughs> in truth so It's about to say that we're getting tired, though. I think we'll get home just fine. It's just like, whoa, it's already... Because I came in here and it was like 2,100 hours. And then, like, next thing I knew, the DD service stopped for today. Awesome. That really makes my day, is what that does. <laughs> oh, that's no good. There's, like, treasure on that little bit of island there. No way at the moment to get over there to it, but... Like, I almost wonder if I can't just build bridges and just stick them down, you know? But the thing is, like, the DD stop, it shows me on the map, like, oh, you can place a DD stop here. Um, uh-oh. We passed out. It's getting late. You should get some rest. <laughs> day three, though. It's still day three. And we got home somehow. So is there, like, no negative to just kind of wandering around until you pass out? <laughs> I didn't lose any money or anything, from what I can tell. Huh. Okay. Well, whatever. Alright, let's craft those scarves. We should be able to craft them now. Uh, no. I'm missing one thread. Well, that should be done in just a minute. Shouldn't be a big deal. Alright, bronze plates. There we go. And make me five more bronze plates. And that's gonna that's gonna bump us up to almost. We'll have two furnaces once that's done. 
which is going to be awesome. Very, very awesome. All right, let's go ahead and put this thing down. We'll set it down like right there, I think. Some more iron. And let's get that charcoal that we made earlier. I'm going to make carbon steel. So go ahead and craft me 10 carbon steel bars. And then this thing needs to finish. It needs to get done. No, you need to finish. Because I would really like to go turn in that commission. And get a new commission. So let's go ahead and queue up another civil furnace. We'll get that going. Um, Because honestly, I mean, I think most everything I've got, I can just knock through it. It's really just waiting on those bronze plates to finish up. And I'm kind of debating if I should queue up more bronze plates. Or... Probably. Probably should. Okay, well we should have everything now to make our three furry stars. And then we can go turn this in. And where do we turn this in at? It looks like right here. Yeah, it's at that shop right up here to the right. But see, the nice thing that I find interesting about them letting us keep our reputation points, like at the transition to the new seasons, it means that we can like build up a good lead and then just kind of coast on it. Which is kind of nice. I feel like you were supposed to kind of like work your way up to passing Higgins. Where we just like knocked it all out the first season. And just like beat him down. But. Thank you. I will put it to good use. So he's the one wanting fire stars. Well we leveled up. That's awesome. Okay. So. Uh, I could take another point in the damage stuff. Honestly I'm probably going to catch up the uh, defense stuff once we get to here maybe. But let's go ahead and take Master Lumberman. Logging Axe Damage increases by 5%. Because that could come in handy. I mean, even already right now with that axe that we've got, it just tears through trees like it's nothing. But even still, if we can make it faster, that's great. Alright, what do we got? Urgent need of 5 sprinklers, 3 far scarfs, or 2 jewelry boxes. What does it take to make a jewelry box? Let me let me go back to let me go back over here real quick. Because the only thing about making the first scarves is I'm gonna be hard pressed to get out enough. I mean I think I've got the yeah, I've got the delicate fur that we need, so if it comes down to it, I'll take that. Um, but the only thing is I don't have, you know, the thread made. So it's gonna take a little while to craft up uh, twelve thread. But the jewelry boxes, what is this for? Or how do we make this, I mean? Jewelry box right here. Um, crystals and sulfate. And it only takes eight crystal and two sulfate. I could probably knock that out right now. There we go. And two sulfates. There we go. Alright, yeah, let's do this. Alright, we got our two jewelry boxes. Let's go grab that commission now and then we'll go turn it in. That's like an easy like 90 points right there. I mean, the sprinkler quest is nice, yeah, but the thing is, I don't have any, uh, I've got, like, one valve is all I've got. Yes. This quest here. And what do we need to go turn this thing in at? Well, can't tell. I cannot tell. Workshop ranking is... Oh, yeah, we're still winning. And we're about to get another 90 points. We'll be at 2,900 then. I don't think there's any chance Higgins is going to catch up to us at this point. Especially once I start doing those quests that give like 200 a pop. Honestly, we might go into the dungeon today, I dare say. Because I don't really have anything pressing that we're working on. And I would like to get some more of those valves, maybe? Are you new here? I'm Russo. Okay. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Alright, so 500 goals, and we got quite a bit of rep for that. We'll definitely take it. Because, I mean, right now we're really just waiting for things to cook up, right? Bronze and iron and all that stuff. Um, we're waiting for all that to get cooked up, so... See, I need to dump all this stuff out. I may queue up more of the... thread. Because it just takes that resin, right? Or no, it also takes fur. I've got fur. Yes. Okay, I got rid of everything in my inventory that I could bear to part with, let's say. Certain things, well, certain things I just don't have the space to store them, but then other things I'm like, yeah, I don't really want to drop that off. 
But before we go in there, I want to pop over here. And I think I've got enough money to buy, like, one piece of, like, upgraded armor. Uh, from this lady, Carol. Uh, what if I sold, like, my chest piece? Yeah, I'm still gonna be able to buy it. Okay, I'm not gonna, like, break the bank trying to get some armor. I think we'll be alright. We're gonna try for it anyways. Because I would like to get maybe some more valves or something. Since we have our commission done for the day, I can't pick up any more. Um, I've got bronze and stuff cooking up. Iron. Mainly iron. I think I forgot to queue up more bronze, but that's okay. Because I don't necessarily need it right this second. I'm really waiting on the bronze plates and the bronze that is currently cooking. Because I want to get at least two more of those furnaces made. Civil furnaces. And then we might take a look. After that, we might take a look at like civil cutters and stuff like that. Because I am going to start needing those, I have a feeling. I have a, I have a, a little bit of a feeling there. And I'll, honestly, I kind of wonder, once we finish this dungeon, do we get a new one? You know, because I know this can't be the end. Level 22 to 24 can't be the end. So, Alright, here we go. Oh, man, that's a lot of mobs. <laughs> actually making short work of them at the moment. I quite love the fact that that bandy rat is stuck back there. <laughs> Red rat? What? It like shoots fire. Oh, there's a chest. Way up there. Okay, I gotta go around to get up there. It would appear. And this is all timed, which is awesome. I do quite like that. Oh. And there's six floors. Good. Industrial engine. I swear, whenever we like find a use for those things, we're gonna have plenty of them. For whatever they want to throw our way. world. I've got to get somewhere fast. <laughs> Let's go. There's not a chest in this room, is there? No, nah, I don't guess so. I think that one chest was the only one. Man, these floors are getting big. Like, it takes you like most of the time just to run the thing. All right. Nope. Keep your fire to yourself. There we go. We've been doing a lot of dungeoning this episode, but... It can't be helped. It cannot be helped. Man, these, these floors... Like, I gotta say, the, the previous floors, even with the time trial, I mean, they were kind of getting somewhat stale just because, like, most of them are, like, the same layout and stuff. Still cable. We've already got a bunch of that, though. But these new floors are, they're pretty big. Like, it makes me excited for, like, the next dungeons. Not to mention, at the end of this month, they're adding, like, another one. Like, that desert dungeon and stuff. So, that's pretty exciting. What do we got? A valve! Hey, hey! Is that the first one I've gotten? Yeah, and then I've got one left over from our last dungeon. But I figure, I, like, I kind of wonder if they're going to give us a second one. That's kind of what I'm hoping. It's like, oh, another dungeon. Why don't you finish this one? It's probably more based on exp or, uh, exploration, but... And I also still want to go by Amber Island and see, like... You know, have they opened up that cave yet? I was wondering if that was going to happen. This room is like perfect for a, a chicken attack. Oh, and that room back there actually has some too. 
I definitely want to do that before... I don't want to have to, like, run all the way back through all of this. Alright. I love when they give us, like, copper bars and copper pipes and stuff like that. It's quite useful. Quite useful indeed. Oh, man. There we go. I need to, like, boost my endurance stuff. Like, I really need the rest of that, like, dodge rolling reduction and stuff. Because we dodge roll a lot. And we eat through that endurance, like, so crazy fast. I think I've got, uh... I can take one more point in it, is all. I should have taken that instead of the XP. <laughs> but I didn't realize at the time, like, I didn't realize, like, how involved the combat and stuff was going to get. Alright. I'm so happy that they paused time for these dungeons. Can you imagine if they didn't? I don't even think you could actually get through these in the time. Like, it would take literally the entire day, and even then, I don't know that you'd get through all the floors. Hey! There we go. Let's push on! Two guys over here. Hey, hey, chest. Come on, valves. That's like the one thing I'm always short on. Silicon chipset. I don't even know that we've got any of those. Which, that's all I need is more stuff to put in chests. Nope. Oh, hey. Hey. <laughs> oh. I need to get rid of him. I hate those poison attacks that he's got. Okay. This floor is done. We've already got 55 kills. And we still have another floor plus the boss floor. That's insane. Oh no. No. Don't give me poison. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, chances remaining zero. Yeah, so you get only, you only get one chance. One shot at this. But it looks like right after this fight, I mean, that's that's it. And we leave after these two guys, so. I'm going to try not to take any damage here. No. <laughs> you can see how fast that turned around on me. All right, what did I get? Uh, sit another silicon chip set. Okay, well, the door is open. Let's see, head to the boss. And we'll be about full health for the boss fight, which is good. Alright, let's do this. Once again, I'm going to break all the crates first. And I'm assuming this boss is identical to the previous fights. I actually do feel like he's a little bit faster on attacking. I think I should think he's a little bit faster. I'm gonna go back to this technique for the first phase, and then I'm gonna go to the like luring uh, his attacks on the next phase. He's a level 25 chemical dropout. He's really not that hard anymore. Like the first time we fought him, he was pretty. Like, whoa, like, but... I feel like you steadily... Ah. I think you, you steadily pick up, like, little tricks for the fight and stuff. Oh, man! Messed up on that because... 
He's a little bit faster now. I'm pretty sure he's a little bit faster. Like, he's hard to, uh... And honestly, I think a lot of it is I hate... Staggering him on that second phase. Like, I actually don't want to stagger him. Stagger is a bad thing, because it kind of messes up my, uh... My strategy. Because I'd like to beat on him for as long as I can, but stagger messes that up. And then it causes him to break out and then shoot at me. And my timing is off. That, I don't know, it just feels like he's a little bit faster. Yeah, get it. There we go. That was a whole lot easier. Alright, we got two valves. We got an industrial engine, jet fluid, metal jar, like all kinds of things. Good, 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 good. And that means we have finished this dungeon. Like, that's it. And we currently have four valves, so we, we still need one more if we get that uh, quest again. Um, let's exit the ruins, I guess. Ho oh, ho! We have mastered that dungeon. Now they need to, like, come running up to us and be like, Wow, you cleared the ruins! Like, here's another ruins for you to go clear. Or here's another bunch of ruins. Like, I kind of hope there's, like, an endless ruin on this. Like, where you just keep going. But, I don't know. What's that? What was that? that yellow thing that just flew across the screen there. I can only assume it was some sort of an attack, but from what? No, it's right there. There it is. It's yellow. And it's just flying around. It's like I can only get like short little glimpses of it. And then it's gone. And I have no clue what it is. Let's head to our home. Wow, she is like sleeping so much right now. She sleeps all the time. <laughs> Alright, our bronze plates are done. Let's grab all this bronze. I would like to get another, like, two bronze plates. If at all possible. Yep, perfect. Two more of those. Okay, that's going to give us three of these furnaces, or four of these furnaces total. So three additional ones. Um... Which means we're going to be able to pump out, like, iron and steel and stuff like that a lot faster. Which is good. I need more space. Like, in a bad sort of way. But it's 15,000. Like, <laughs> it's so expensive, right? Well, guess what? I guess it's going right here. <laughs> this is going to be a big convoluted mess of an area here. Right, let's go ahead and refuel. Make me 10 more iron. And over here, let's refuel and make me and, oh, my carbon steel. Let's see. Got this charcoal. And I guess this other one. I don't know. Do I want more carbon steel or do I want more? I don't know. I'll tell you what. Let me go ahead and refuel these. And over here, I'm going to queue up a bunch of bronze. Not necessarily for the bronze plates, because I'm not... I'm not going to make any more uh, civil furnaces for right now. But I am going to make uh, other stuff. Oh, I've actually got bronze. Oh, that's the bronze plates. Then. Yeah. That's why I'm making two more, because I need another set of five. Right now, we've got eight iron bars, and I think I've got a bunch in here, don't I? Is that what this is yeah 20 iron bars here plus we got a whole bunch of copper there's more copper there's more bronze I mean we're doing pretty good on materials right now and then we're just waiting on those bronze plates so I'll tell you what make me um oh I'm out of wood are you serious I'm out of wood again I am indeed okay I'll tell you what I can craft Wood. 
Craft me lots of it. Okay, there's 200 wood. Because I've got a bunch of hardwood here, and I should have a bunch in here as well. Um, no I don't. Ooh, whoops. <laughs> Let me go ahead and craft more hardwood planks. I need, like, all of those that I can muster. I've got 19. Okay, well, let's go ahead and refuel this, and let's make, uh, the, that tin alloy, right? We're gonna need that stuff. It's tin and lead. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and queue up some of that. I'm gonna have some lead right here. And go ahead and craft me ten of them. That's fine. That's actually the first use I think we've had for lead. That comes to mind anyway. And we got our first little bit of carbon steel. Alright, now I've got a minute. Let me head out here and I'm going to cut down some trees. Um, yeah, I'm going to go for those trees over there. I like those big trees because, like, I know, I think, what, last episode I was talking about kicking cocoons, or the one before that or something, and how I thought that kicking trees was just for, like, if you weren't strong enough to, like, cut down the tree, and I think that's true because cutting the trees down, I have noticed getting cocoons, which I quite like because kicking trees is pretty horrid. Um, actually, yeah, see, wild cocoon plus one. I figure we'll stock back up on some more hardwood, because I'm about to use up a lot of those planks for different things. Um, but then I also need just straight hardwood for the water wheel stuff, right? If I recall correctly, that just takes straight up hardwood. Hmm, we are definitely doing good on iron. A lot better than I thought we were. I'm very, very happy with that, in truth. Alright, let me dump that in there. And our bronze plates are done. Yes, awesome. Okay, that means we can get our last, or at least for right now, we'll get our last uh, arc furnace built. Or civil furnace, I mean. And do I have these right here? Let me grab these. Which I did make extra of these, but I figure we'll use them somewhere, like down the road. And there we go, our civil furnace. Uh -huh. I'm really, like, running out of space right now. I'll just put it right over here. And let's go ahead and refuel this monster, and let's go ahead and queue up iron. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just keep pumping out iron. Honestly, I think four of those is going to be pretty good. I will try to get a few more and just totally get rid of these things, but for right now, I'm going to leave them. Because it's kind of like quantity over quality on this side getting late. You should get some rest. Okay. Well, before I can do that, well, it is actually getting late. Bah. Let's take a quick look here. The industrial cutter is the one that takes the grinding stones. Bloodstone, iron bars, resin. And then carbon steel. We need 10 of that. And then simple circuits for the industrial cutter. That is something that we're definitely going to need. We could start working on this. We're actually not too far from being able to make it. The, our large iron buckets, I think, are the worst. Um, found in the abandoned ruins. Yeah, that's where I got those two before. But, anyways, I don't know. We'll figure out where we're going to go, or what direction we're going to take next episode. Because I know it's about wrapping up point for this one. But we did clear out our first ruin. Which I guess now we can just kind of, like, go in and tackle whichever floor we so desire. But... I mean, as far as the main progression for it is done, so. Um, also, I would like to soon start getting things for the house, but I'm kind of, at the same time, I'm kind of waiting because we're about to upgrade it too soon. Because right now we're setting on 3,500 um, goals. So, but I would like to expand this, but I'd also like to expand the property line because I'm running out of space for all these, like, machines and stuff. Which isn't, which isn't good. <laughs> I mean, I could always move the chests inside to make a little bit extra space, but... I think that's about the best we're going to be able to do. And maybe put some stuff over here. But Anyways, like I said, I know it's about wrapping up points, so I am going to end it out here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. 
and are enjoying the series thus far as well. Um, I'm still having a blast with this. It's pretty fun. I have to say, it's it's a lot of fun. So, it reminds me so much of Dark Cloud, which is a really good thing. So. But anyways, I hope to see you guys next time. Until then, as always, do take care, stay safe, and I'll see you guys next time.